Hi, I'm Dave Warheim, director of the National Scout Museum at Philmont Scout Ranch. As we approach the 51st anniversary of the first Boy Scout to ever walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong, if you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, I would like to showcase some of our awesome artifacts here at the National Scout Museum relevant to the NASA program. Scouts have been involved in the NASA program since its beginning. Everyone from Alan Shepard all the way through Mike Fossum and many, many, many more after him were scouts before they engaged and entered into exploration of space. We've got a lot of things on display here in the cases, but what I'm, one of the astronauts I'd like to focus on with today's object is James Lovell. You may know him as commander of Apollo 13, but he was also on many other missions. And right here in front of us, I've pulled out one of his training suits that he generously gave to the National Scout Museum way back when it was in New Jersey as the Johnston Museum. Before we see that, I do want to let you know that in this case behind us, we have Jim Lovell's Eagle Badge with two palms. We have Space Exploration Merit Badge, which was taken up to the surface of the moon. We have an American flag that was taken to the surface of the moon by Charles Duke back during the Apollo 16 mission in 1972. We've got many other items here as well. A Philmont Arrowhead Badge that Mike Fossum took up on his space shuttle missions to orbit around the Earth. And what I think is really cool that ties this together, once this exhibit finally came here, when the National Scout Museum moved to Philmont, was that for the Apollo crew, well before they got in a rocket to go off into outer space, they came to Philmont first. As the Apollo crew were learning everything they needed to know to walk on the moon, a big chunk of that was geology. What were they gonna look for? How are they going to pick it up? What should they bring back? So they came here as part of their geology training in 1964. So we've got many photos of their expedition here. Interesting little tidbit. One of the geologists who helped them with that training, years later, identified a Tyrannosaurus Rex foot track on Philmont. It's the only known positively identified Tyrannosaurus Rex foot track in the United States of America, maybe all the world. So next summer, come on out. We've got everything from dinosaurs to astronauts. But in the meantime, let's check out Commander Jim Lovell's training suit. And what I like about his training suit is two things. A scout must be prepared. And that means training, training, and training when you're in the Apollo program. The other thing I really like about this is just a little nautical tidbit as I look at his training suit, I can tell that it wasn't really designed by someone in the nautical field because they have the arm gloves color-coded red and blue. And as you can see, the red is on the right. Anyone who's driven and navigated a boat on the open water will know that if a sailor had designed this suit, the red sleeve would have been on the port side. Look forward to hearing your comments and hope you have a great day.